So let's explain the difference between the central difference table, the backward difference table, and the forward difference table. Now let's take a look at this table on the board. If you exclude the table that contains X and Y, let us consider only the parts with three values, which is one, two, three, four, and five, which means this part is categorized into five places. So I can bisect this table. I will have from here, which is the first two, then I will have the last two, then I have a central. Okay, any value of X that lies between the first two is said to be at the center, at the forward of the table. So this is called the um, forward difference table. Okay, any value that lies at the forward between 1 and 2 is said to be at the forward of the table, whereas any value that lies between 4 and 5 is said to be at the back of the table. So this is the backward table. Okay, so this is the backward table. And any value that lies at the middle is said to be the central table. So the middle here is said to be, is said to be the central table table okay so let's say we are asked to approximate the derivative when x is equal to one you see if you're asked to approximate the derivative when x is equal to one one is directly at the forward of the table so this simply means you're going to be using the forward difference method to approximate that derivative if you're asked to approximate when x is simply 1.5 again the highest value of the forward table ends at two so which means 1.5 still lies between 1 and 2, and this still lies at the forward of the table. So if you have to approximate when x is 1.5, it also means that you're going to be using the forward difference method to approximate that derivative. Now, let's say you're asked to approximate when x is equal to 2.1. So it is very, very important at this point for you to understand that the value of the forward difference table or the forward table ends at 2. So anything beyond 2 means it has now started entering into the central table. So if x is simply 2.1, it means it has eclipsed 2 and now approaching 3. In that case, we are going to be using what? The central difference formula to approximate that derivative. Okay, so this also means that if you have to approximate um, the derivative when x is equal to 3.1, it also means that 3.1 because the central difference table ends at where 3. So anything beyond 3 means it is now encroaching into the back of the table. So 3.1 is directly encroaching into the back of the table, which means we are going to be using the backward difference method to approximate that derivative. If you have to approximate when x is equal to 4.5, you see, 4.5 lies between 4 and 5, which is at the back of the table. So which means you're going to be using the backward difference table once again to approximate that derivative.